Okay. So if they want experience, because most of them want experience, what should I do? Should I uh, still apply and like send a video on why they should hire me? Okay, I'm going to solve this experience thing once and for all. And I want you to really listen carefully, okay? Yeah. This is a limiting belief. Don't believe it. Okay, they do not want experience. That's not what they want, even though that's what they say. That's what they say they want all the time. It's not what they want. Does this sound very mind-blowing or unbelievable to you? Okay. Yeah. Once, once I share my story with you, you understand why this is very real and believable. Okay. Like four or five years into my closing career, I did what I told you. I just apply for fun. I just want to see if I still have it. I just want to see like I'm teaching this stuff. Can I actually do it? So I apply, right? And you'll be surprised. A lot of them reject me because they say you are overqualified. Overqualified? Yes. And this is actually code for you are so experienced. Why would you want to close for me? Like, are you a fellow competitor trying to, you know, infiltrate my team and learn my systems? Like, what are you trying to do? If you're so good, you're six figure closer, go start your own business. Why you come and close for me? And I don't want you. I want someone that I can train. I want someone that I can coach that can have my style. And you have your style. You're fixed already. You already do this for four years. Are you as coachable as a new guy? So some companies have this fear that if someone is so experienced, are they going to be lazy? Are they going to rest on their laurels? Are they going to be difficult to manage? Are they going to have high expectations? Are they going to command some crazy salary? Are they going to learn all our stuff and do something funny with it? And all those times where I've had the most success, you'll be surprised, is when I was green, I you know, dress professionally, I say, I know nothing. I'm willing to learn. I can show up. Test me. And the key is in the last part. Test me. So when you have no experience, I don't want you to dance around it and be awkward about it. Just be direct. Okay. Remote sales, I have a little bit. Like right now, you have a little bit. Okay. I have worked in actual sales before. I so liquor or your experience that you told me earlier say it okay okay but remote sales i have three weeks or i have six months whatever you have say it two days say it and then i want you to add it off with test me but don't say it so aggressively say it in a more like uh i'm happy to you know answer any questions or any test and if you want to get your sales coach to test me or you want to do a role play you want to sort of i don't want to say trick but you want to trigger them to test you because why it shows why that do you want to do that it shows that you're confident and you know what you're talking about yes and and that's your only shot at closing them oh so true it's like martial arts. There's no way to test. The only way, you and me, one on one, let's go. Do you dare to test my skills? Because I dare to let you test. You want to test me spouse objection, time objection, like urgency, consequence, anything. Test me, let's go. But of course, not so aggressively, but you want to have that. Because once, once they test you, you win. Why? Because You'll be very surprised, Dania, that there's a lot of experience closer. Five years, uh, 10 years. Close how many, how many, how many amount? Six, seven, eight, nine. You'll be surprised when you test them, they cannot close. You know why? Why? They are, either their experience is fake, it's inflated, or it's in an irrelevant industry that the influencer or the business owner is not looking for. For example, you close for a dating coach, but your experience is 10 years in the finance industry. 
will they feel that it's relevant? Now, compared to me, I say, hey, I have zero experience, okay, but I have studied your offer. I know what your program is about. I can recite all your client results, okay, and I have booked some calls for you, okay, and here is some added value. And I'm doing all of this because I sincerely am applying to join your team, and that's what I'm trying to do. Who do you think has the higher chance? You. Why? Why not the guy with 10 years of finance experience? He closed seven, eight figures in sales. But I'm because, green. I have nothing. Because you know what you're talking about and you have a passion and an interest to help. Yes, the that's it. It's the heart. It's the heart. That's what, write it down. You know, it's, it's your coachability. It's your drive. This is more dangerous. Your coachability and your drive is more dangerous than 500 years of experience. Because why? To a leader, I want to train you. I want to coach you. I want to groom you. A leader doesn't want someone that is fixed, set in their ways. But you send me like an intern, you know, young, fresh, ready to go, coachable. Okay, let's train this girl up. Let's go. That's your unfair advantage. This advantage that you have, I no longer have. I'm old. <laughs> <You're not old. laughs> yeah, I understand what you mean. Yeah, you're a blank piece of paper. So it's a limiting belief. And from today onwards, I don't want you to see it as a weakness. Because if you doubt yourself because of this, they will feel it. They won't want you no more. Yeah, but if you see it as a strength and you can confidently tell them, I have no experience, they'll be thinking, why, why is this lady no experience but she's so confident? Let's let's find out. Okay, Daniel, how would you handle this scenario? And then you show them the goods. You must this strategy only works is if you show them the goods. That's why you you want them to test you. Oh, you're so smart oh my God. because it's it's not a lie right when you join the team whatever you advertise you have to deliver if you don't deliver they're gonna kick you out so to summarize all of this okay in one word what is it called it's called your preparation preparation Preparation? Preparation. How well you prepare. Uh, okay. The nervousness you feel, okay, such as uh, speaking to uh, someone with authority or attending an interview or speaking on stage. The nervousness is normal, yes? Yes. That's a natural body reaction. Do you know that? That's your body telling you, hey, get ready something important has happened, I need you to focus. So your body makes you nervous so that you can focus. Nervousness yeah. is one thing. Fear is a different thing. Don't confuse the two. If you mix the two, you're going to be very confused. So your heart can still be beating fast. You can still feel nervous, but you've got the whole call in control. That's very normal, yes? Fear is when you have a lack of preparation. That's fear. If you are fully prepared, like how to book a high quality appointment, I may not have the experience, but I'm fully prepared. I'm not saying that I'm very skilled. I'm not saying that I know how to do everything, but to the best of my ability, here's my preparation. Is it the best? Probably not, but it's my best. But then what values does it show about you? Doesn't it show a very high caliber, a very hungry, young, driven woman? Then as a company, what else do you expect from a person applying? Is This kind of attitude is already better than all. I can tell you all the other applicants, they just want fast, easy money. They don't do shit. 
I know because I hire closers before. I train closers, I hire them. They all, a lot of them are very lazy. So just by having this attitude, you already win all of them. Okay, so it's your preparation. It shows your values. It shows your qualities. This is what the companies want. Like you, for example, now, are you single? Are you dating anyone? Okay, so let's say you have time for a boyfriend, right? You want the guy who is like super established, millionaire, billionaire, or you want a guy with the qualities, right? He's respectful, he's driven, he cares for you, even, even, even at a time where he has nothing. Yeah. So, same thing. So when a company looks at you, they don't want the super established guy who's full of shit. They want that person with the quality. So this experience thing, if you look at it with confidence, they will see your confidence.